Why am I standing out here in the rain? That's because I'm at Ford's Garage. Oh, Y'all gonna love this episode. You know what time it is? You know what time it is. It's time to eat. When you come through the door, it's like walking into a cool garage. Staff is dressed like mechanics, and there's even a Model T lifted over the bar. This restaurant knows how to start your engine. Oh, man. They got a pretty big menu. 34 premium and craft beers on taps, soft drinks, mixed drinks, desserts, and uh, yeah, that thing right there, that's some prime burgers. That's what we came here to get. Don't let me get started on the appetizers. Man, you're gonna find yourself in a whole lot of trouble. But what's life without taking chances? Man, roll a dice. While you smash that like and subscription button, I'm gonna go ahead and smash these onion rings. <laughs> the onion rings are served up on a funnel. I think that's pretty clever how they do that. They are very crispy and have the perfect onion to batter ratio. The thing that really sets it off is this ketchup. This ketchup is infused with a chipotle flavor, so you're getting that sweet and tangy all up in there. They also give you ranch dressing, but um, I'm a little bit more partial to this ketchup. I had to get a second cup, man. I suggest you do the same thing. The ketchup is where it's at with these onion rings. Next, I tried the buffalo chicken dip. It got celery, Philadelphia cream cheese, a splash of hot sauce on top, and of course, the chicken. Throw that on them corn chips, man, your mouth gonna start dancing. Oh, and that little kick in the back end definitely gonna get you. You know I had to go back to seconds. That's how I do it on this channel. Come on now. There's that kick again. <laughs> the chicken dip is a must have on this menu. Chicken cob salad. For them days you feeling healthy. <laughs> this thing has everything you would expect in a classic cob salad, except they kick it up one, two, three times greater than normal. They got diced avocado, gorgonzola cheese, and it's tossed in a roasted garlic vinaigrette. It's a mix of flavors you ain't even know your mouth needed until you tried it. Then it's like, oh man. They also give you an extra side of that vinaigrette. Just if you want to take it up a little bit more. Trust me, you do. That vinaigrette is a game changer. The funny thing is, I don't even like vinaigrettes. Man, they started to change my mind today. Let me hit this chicken with it one more time. For the people in the cheap seats. Check that out. <laughs> you know you love it. You know you do. Next up, the cod fish and chips. The batter is not that crispy, and the inside should be flaky, but it's kind of mushy. It's gonna be a no-go for me on this one. All right, let's get to these burgers. Started off with a mushroom Swiss burger, but just to change things up a little bit, I switched the beef off for turkey. It comes with red onions, tomatoes, Swiss cheese, and of course, the mushrooms. Take a good look at those fries. Oh yeah, they got stuff on them. Got some really good seasoning. They didn't overdo it, they didn't underdo it. They did it just right. Maybe the chef really came from France. I don't know, y'all let me know about that one. Give me that burger. The turkey burger is a little bit dry for my taste. Plus, when I get a mushroom burger, I expect mushrooms to be falling all off the bun. However, it was seasoned well, but for me, it was just okay. Now this boy right here, it's called the Estate Burger with a side of mashed potatoes. Oh man. Don't worry about that big piece of meat on the side either. Trust me, we gonna get to that later on. This burger is topped with a red onion marmalade, truffle bacon aioli, fried onion straws, and smoked gouda. Man, they put a whole V8 engine in this burger. And yeah, I said truffle bacon aioli. I didn't know a thing like that even existed. Did you? Y'all see me stirring those mashed potatoes, right? It's got some bacon running through it and some scallions on top. The potatoes, they got a smooth texture, but I need a little bit more butter in mine and it can definitely use a dash of pepper or something. But they straight. Let's get off into this burger. Mmm. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I told him to cook the burger medium well, but it came back medium. No complaints, though. It is absolute perfection. Remember that big old piece of meat I had sitting on the side? Yeah, that's a half rack of baby back ribs. It also comes with some bourbon barbecue sauce. You know, just in case you want to get things a little bit dirty. <laughs> Man, I am loving the color of the bark on these ribs right here. You don't even need teeth to eat these. You can just use your gums. Look how that comes off the bone. Oh yeah. Oh, you want a piece of this right here? Yes, you do. Let me go ahead and uh, hit it with some of this sauce. You can definitely taste the molasses and the mix of bourbon in the sauce. It really complements the seasoning that's already on the ribs. If it ain't on your fingers, <laughs> it ain't good barbecue. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> at least it ain't falling on the floor. Those are sweet potato tater tots. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Let me get back on the ribs though. I gotta say, you really don't see ribs that tender that fall off the bone like that unless you're in a top-notch barbecue place. I said they did a good job on them. This one is called Ford's Signature Burger. Take a look closely. See how they burn their logo onto the top of the bun? Does anybody else do that? Don't let me know, because I want to go check that restaurant out too. This burger comes with tomatoes, red onions, applewood smoked bacon, mm, a nice slice of cheddar cheese, and that bourbon barbecue sauce that we had on the ribs earlier. Look at all that goodness just coming together. <laughs> Man, you gotta love it. Come to daddy. You know what time it is. Oh, you know what time it is. Huh? Huh? <laughs> ah! Do you see how fat that burger is? That's a half pound of prime Angus burger. The barbecue sauce is nice, but that applewood smoked bacon is setting the whole thing off. Okay, so we have took one heck of a journey through Ford's Garage. I don't think I can eat another thing. I don't think you can either. <laughs> I gotta give a lot of props to the staff today. As you can see, I kept them busy. They still offered me dessert. <laughs> are y'all crazy? <laughs> so let me know what you think looks good on this menu. Let me know what you wanna try. Leave it down in the comments. We can definitely talk about it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. I washed it all down with an ice cold glass of lemonade. Boys Garage, we're here, we live in color, like a roll, yeah.